Hi guys, um, Terry here again, right? Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at question five in the January 2020 maths paper. Okay, um, a group of 100 students estimated the mass in grams of a seed. The cumulative frequency curve below shows the results, right? So they give us a curve. We have cumulative frequency against mass. And what do they want? The first part, they want us to work out what is the median, right? Now, to work out the median here, what we need to do, we need to look at my total cumulative frequency, which is 100. So therefore, if we want to work out the median, we just need to read off where is this 50 corresponding to, right? So what you guys need to do here, you need to take your ruler and you're going to draw a line, right? Up until you reach your curve. And then you're going to read off this here, right? So when you read this off here, let's see what I'm getting, right? So I'm getting about maybe 3.2, I guess, 3.2, right? As my um, median. Right? So I'm getting 3.2 as my medium. So we'll work with that, right? Um, let's see. So this here is going to be 3.2 grams. That's my medium, right? Next thing we want, we want to figure out what is my upper quartile. Now your upper quartile, which is what we call Q3, right? What we need to look at, we need to look at three quarter of our data. In this case, we have 100, right? That's our sample size here, 100. So three quarter of 100 is 75. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the graph and you're going to read off where is 75, right? So 75 is somewhere here, right? So you're going to take your ruler and you're going to read off what that 75 is corresponding to. Now, according to my diagram here, right, that kind of looks midway between 4.2 and 4.4. So maybe I will say about 4.3, right? I'm going to say my upper quartile is 4.3, right? So this here is going to be 4.3 grams. And then they want the semi interquartile range. Well, the thing is, if they want semi interquartile range, right? That is, so semi interquartile range is given by a half your upper quartile, which is Q3, minus your lower quartile, which is Q1, right? Now they haven't asked us, asked us to work out Q1, but we need it. So Q1 corresponds to a quarter of our data, right? So that's going to be um, 25. So you go to the graph and you're going to read off 25, right? So let's come here, right? All right, so that's about 25. And then we need to draw a next line now to read off from the graph where is that actual 25. Uh, that looks like, let me make sure. All right, that's to me that looking kind of in between. So that's maybe I would say 2.3. Yeah, I'd say that's about 2.3, right? So that corresponds to about 2.3. So therefore your actual um, Q1, right, is equal to 2.3 grams. So therefore your semi interquartile range will be a half. Your Q3, which is 4.3 minus your Q1, which is 2.3. So 4.3 minus uh, 2.3 is going to give me 2. Half of 2 is going to be 1. So my semi-interquartile range is 1 gram, right? Now, the fourth part, they want us to work out the number of students who estimate less than 2.8 grams. So we go back to the graph again. But this time, what we want to do, we need to read off where is 2.8 grams, right? So you'll have to take your ruler and you need to read off exactly where is 2.8. Alright, so 2.8 is about here and that is corresponding to 
So we need to draw next line here now, right? Right, and according to my diagram here, that corresponds to about tidyet, right? That's what it looks like to me. That corresponds to about tidyet, right? So that means that tidyet students actually estimated a mass that was less than 2.8, right? So for this part here, I'll say the answer is tidyet. Let's do the last part now. Now. They want us to use the cumulative frequency curve to complete the following table, right? Now, this is not the first time they, they brought this, right? And we need to be aware as to how we're doing this. Now, what we should do is to go to the table and actually read off our cumulative frequency, right? Because that's what the table given us, eh? So, some students may believe that it's um, frequency, but that's a cumulative frequency curve. So this is cumulative frequency. That's what that graph is giving me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read off at two, right? Based on how they structure the data here. So two corresponds to, that's this point here, that corresponds to 20, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just write down what the cumulative frequencies are. 20, then let's read off four. When I read off four, that corresponds to maybe about 60, how much is that? That corresponds to about 68, right? That corresponds to about 68. So we can put uh, 68 here. Then let's read off six. Go to the graph and see where six is. So six is kind of here. So that's 92, that's what, 93. So this here corresponds to 93. Then let's read off eight. If I read off eight, that corresponds to about, what, 99? And then the last one, right? Well, that's going to correspond to 100. Right? That's going to correspond to 100, right? Now, to get my um, my actual frequencies, so your cumulative frequency initially was 20. There's nothing before, so therefore your frequency has to be 20. Now, when I jump to a cumulative frequency of 68, right? You have a change. So what we need to do to get the actual frequency, we need to take 68 and minus 20. So that's going to give me 48. That's what my actual frequency is. To get the next one here, right, you're up to 93. So we need to take 93 and subtract um, 68. Right? So 93 minus 68 and that's going to give me what 25 now let's make sure if this let's make sure this thing is okay here because sometimes remember we kind of read off a graph here so that's 25 um i just want to check these as well uh 99 minus 93 okay we're good with the six and 99 right so this is okay here so therefore my answers should be 48 and 25 right and then the last part a student is chosen at random find the um, probability that the estimated mass is greater now this is greater than six grams right now greater than six grams right now if you go to the graph here six grams corresponds to this here right which is 93 now they want more than right so more than is going to be 100 minus 93 so the probability that they want here right is going to be um, one second how much you said right so that is 93 would have estimated less than six grams but we want more than six grams so we have to take a hundred minus 93 and that's going to give me seven right and we're going to take seven and divide it by 100 right now pay attention to this because um, based on the broad topics for the 2022 exams they kind of said um, you're going to be getting probability and also cumulative frequency, right? So this question is extremely important to you guys, right? So that's the answer for part B, right? 
So guys, please hit like and subscribe. And yes, I do give online maths, ad maths, chemistry and physics classes. So you can send me a WhatsApp at this number if you're interested, right?